Um, I do also want to make sure that um, this is instead of you know what we'll do instead of doing that we'll do the roughness and we'll do the color of the diffuse you can see how we have this really sweet splotchiness to that and what i want to do uh for this is i want to mix so we'll go ahead and duplicate this mix shader duplicate uh and we'll mix the color of the musgrave um with a different color we'll do grab the diffuse here put that right there and we'll put plug that into the bottom uh the bottom piece and we'll change this color to like a more reddish um, and what I'll do here is we'll change this factor back to 0.5 and, uh, and we'll plug this into the roughness of that color. You can see what I need to do here is not, we don't need to make sure that we need to put this into, I need to put the Musgrave into the color, into the color, and then we can get rid of this uh, mix shader and put that into the color of the actual pumpkin. Um, it, this, it's a process. Um, and what we can do after that is, uh, what did I want to do? I don't remember. You know what we'll do is instead of doing, I'm gonna go. I was gonna go through all of this to change the hue of the pumpkin, and make it a bit different color. I'll just no, nope, no, nope, not that. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, Control Z that, obviously, and we'll go ahead and get rid of those notes because I was gonna do so this whole big thing, but that's really not, not what I want to do. So we'll change. We'll change up a little bit, and I'll add a texture. And this texture will be a Musgrave texture once again, and we will just plug the factor into the factor of the mix shader. And we'll plug in the color into the um, into what do I want to do here? We'll plug this into the well, that looks really sweet. That looks like a Terminator pumpkin. That's pretty cool. Um, but I, I don't want to do that for this. Uh, so I'll, I'll plug that into the 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 roughness, the factor into the into the factor of the mix shader, and then the color into the roughness. I'll change the scale and make the scale smaller. Um, so maybe like point point. Two, can we, can we even see that? No, we can't. Maybe 1.1. 1. 1. All right, so we have a little bit of a hue change there, which is what I wanted. You can see we have a couple of splotchy areas where it's it, the, the color is different, which looks pretty sweet. I'll go ahead and we'll just bump this up to 10 so we can see it even even easier. Uh, it is it is working, so we'll go ahead and change maybe three, maybe three. Yeah, three looks good. All right, so three looks pretty sweet. I like the way that's looking. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and add another mix shader. We'll duplicate this by hitting Shift D, change the factor back to uh, 0.5, and then we'll go ahead and add in a little bit more, uh, a little bit more texture by adding in a noise texture into the displacement. Um, I'll, I'll, we'll do, we'll fix, we'll fix up this mix shader in a second here. I want to, I want to do this noise uh, texture first. We'll go ahead and change this down from five to like 0.2, uh, well, not 0.2, sorry, just two, um, and maybe higher than that, maybe four. That might be too much. I don't know. Um, yeah, just a little bit of wave onto it like that. Maybe it looks a little bit better. I um, mean, I also want to go ahead and add in another texture, and this will be wave. This texture will be wave. Let's unhook the the, the noise for a second here, um, and then we'll add in the wave by itself um, in the color into the displacement. And you can see this is a really pretty cool node. What I want to do though is I want to rotate this, um, which may turn out to be a bit more difficult. Um, then I was planning we'll go ahead and add a vector mapping and then we'll rotate this um, by uh, by moving the, uh, the the X and the Y and the Z uh, locations you can see how this isn't exactly working how I wanted to so instead of doing that what we'll do is we'll get rid of that mapping node because it's not gonna work on a texture displacement output we will go ahead and instead of using that we'll go ahead and change that vector uh, that vector mapping to we'll do hmm, we'll do can we do let's do the texture coordinate let's do a texture coordinate and we'll plug the uh, the generated into the vector and then we'll plug the noise into we'll plug this noise texture into no no not detail we'll plug the noise into the scale and then this should work pretty well um, going across, I don't think we need the texture coordinate actually to be honest with you we can get rid of that texture coordinate we don't need that uh, for the time being, once again, I was gonna do something, but just you know, forget that. We don't need to do that. It's just too much. I like the simple, the simple things we're going with. This we're losing the pumpkin shape here, so I'll go ahead and I'll change the noise texture up to one. 